there's a new way to increase your business with Italy. Join CDP Business Matching, the new digital platform connecting your company with selected Italian partners. Join the network and select your business goals. Choose your partners from the suggested matches and attend your meetings to build new successful partnerships. Participate in digital events and keep up to date with the latest news and trends from the Italian market. CDP Business Matching. Join. Discover. Grow. Sign up now at businessmatching.cdp.it. Good morning and good afternoon to everyone who is following us from India. My name is Laurent Franciosi, Head of the International Business Support at Cassa Depositi e Prestiti, CDP, the Italian financial institution promoting the sustainable domestic and international development. I have the pleasure today to welcome you to a digital event organized with the Italian Embassy in New Delhi and dedicated to exploring the new opportunities for growth among Italian and Indian companies, especially SMEs. It will be a great chance to present Business Matching, the digital platform developed by CDP in collaboration with the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs to allow Indian and Italian companies to meet and grow together. Joining us today will be guest speakers from all our partners of this initiative. The Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the Confederation of Indian Industry, the Italian Trade Agency, SACE, CIMEST, and a few guest companies from our two countries that will share their experiences in investing or exporting and the challenges they faced and might still face. We will also see a brief presentation of the business matching platform what benefits it can bring to your company and how it works. Finally, we will be joined again by our partners to answer your question during a Q&A session. During the event, you can send us your questions through the Q&A tab window. To post your question, click on the Ask a Question button you can find below the streaming window. And please don't forget to specify to which speaker the question is addressed to. I am glad to say that more than 200 companies from both countries are joining us today. And I believe that truly speaks for the efforts behind the organization of this event and the interest that resonated amongst many of you here today. Now joining us from New Delhi is the Italian ambassador in India. His Excellency Vincenzo De Luca. Buongiorno, good morning, Ambassador. Buongiorno, good morning. Thank you so much uh, for giving me the floor. I'm uh, very glad to participate to the launch event for the Indian market of the CDP business matching platform made by Cassa Depositi e Prestiti in collaboration with the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. I would uh, like to warmly greet my friend Pasquale Salzano, Chief International Affairs Officer at CDP, and to thank our Indian friend, Mr. Umesh Chaudhari, who is a great friend of Italy and is participating to this webinar in the name of CII, the Confederation of Indian Industry, one of the main partners of the Italian Embassy in Delhi for the promotion of the economic relationship between our two countries. We attach great importance to this project. Uh, that is a new and innovative tool to allow Indian and in Italian companies, especially SMEs, to meet and grow by creating new partnerships and increasing bilateral relations between the business communities of the two countries. On this regard, I would uh, like to quote our Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Luigi Di Maio, that during the presentation of the platform in Rome last December, the conference of the Italian ambassador was very happy to underline the first positive response from Indian companies. I really hope that the help of CII will be crucial for the further improvements. 
The current state of the bilateral relation is based on the concept of partnership, strategic partnership. That is namely true since the two countries share complementarity in the industrial system based on a strong SMEs pattern. On one hand, India, it's, with its bursting demographic strength and the rapid expanding domestic market is destined to take on a leading role in the world economy, positioning itself in the redefining process of global supply chain as an export and investment destination, as well as a base for re-exporting to neighboring countries. On the other hand, Italy, with an economic system based on advanced manufacturing and made up of hundreds of miles of small and medium-sized enterprise able to export their products, excelling in many sectors, looks very careful to India. Proof of this is the presence of more than 600 Italian companies operating in this country and employing around 25,000 people. Despite the negative effect of the pandemic, trade and investment between the two countries are now showcasing, uh, really, uh, showcasing really encouraging trends. In the period January-October 2021, the bilateral trade reached 8.7 billion euro, very near to the record value of 9.5 billion euro 2019. But it's still under potential, potential still to be exploited, not only between Italy and, U and the India, but between Europe and India. And we joined the new framework of partnership between Europe and India based on sustainability and innovation. Over the same period of 2029, Italy is the first largest trading partner of India amongst European countries, exporting especially machinery, chemical products, metal and metal products. Uh, furthermore, Italian companies continue to invest in India in key sectors su such as energy transition, automotive, food processing. This result has been possible thanks to the development of an effective toolkit to facilitate trade and investment between our economies on the way paved by the Plan of Action 2024. We have now, for the first time, a frame for a strategic partnership between Italy and India based on innovation and sustainability. It is not only a partnership of trade and investment. It is a partnership for sharing and improving technology. Indeed, promotion of SMEs and investment is one of the main line of action that arose from still from this developing process. And I think that also in terms of innovation, India is uh, the country with the highest number of unicorns in the period of COVID, more than 40 in this period. And Italy is dynamic also in this uh, area of startup and innovation. I think we can integrate this capacity, this dynamism of the two countries. Nowadays, Nowadays, the two countries are definitely aware of the untapped potential of bilateral industrial partnership and project in order to encourage respective SMEs to explore new avenues of cooperation, supported also by innovative financial schemes. And we are working with GDP here in India to have a country strategy for facilitating the promotion and investment of our companies and SMEs here in India. And I'm confident that this new business matching platform will facilitate this process. Finally, let me thank all the participants to the webinar, especially the Italian and Indian companies that will speak about their experience and stories, and they are already working to strengthen the economic ties between our two countries. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ambassador, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the Embassy for organizing this event, and see you at the end of the webinar for your final remarks. See you later, Ambassador. And now I have the pleasure to introduce Mr. Pasquale Salzano, President of CMEST and Chief International Affairs Officer of CDP, joining us from Rome. Good morning, Mr. Salzano. Buongiorno. Thank you. Good morning. Buongiorno a tutti. It's the a pleasure. To... 
In Ital Indian and Italian colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for participating in the launching event of CDP Business Matching Platform, the new digital tool jointly developed by Cassa Depositi and Prestiti and the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, with the aim of facilitating trade and economic ties between Italian and foreign companies. I'm particularly grateful to my dear friend, Ambassador Enzo De Luca, and the Italian Embassy in New Delhi for their cooperation and constant support in organizing this webinar and in promoting this important initiative on the Indian market. The unprecedented economic shock caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has prompted CDP in synergy with SACE and CIMES to provide exceptional financial measures which had been crucial in managing the economic impact both on individuals and businesses. The deployment of these instruments has allowed companies to not only be more resilient to the crisis, but also to increase their competitiveness and profitability on national and even more on international markets. We can clearly affirm that the export-oriented Italian firms have managed to deal with the crisis better than those that only operate on the domestic market. The pandemic has also accelerated the digital transformation processes. Companies have experienced deep changes and in a very short time implementing solutions based on digital technologies, which have proved essential considering the numerous travel restrictions still in place in some parts of the world. These relevant changes in the international economic scenario have to be faced by all companies in order to continue to compete in the global markets. They need to be prepared for this challenge and to this end, they need financial support, but they should also foster a real culture of innovation. We are therefore working to bridge the digitization gap that unfortunately still affects several companies, especially SMEs. In the past two years, the CDP Group has intensified its role in supporting international business initiatives with a clear commitment to ensure sustainable development and a positive impact on territories contributed to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals of the UN 2030 Agenda. In this context, CDP can play a dual role. Firstly, by providing medium long term finance to foster exports and internationalization. And secondly, by promoting and facilitating business opportunities with international partners. As to medium to long term financial instruments, CDP targets companies involved in large scale projects abroad with export finance products and also supports investment and financing activities in emerging markets and countries for operations consistent with the objectives of the development cooperation. For what concerns SMEs, the most relevant role was assigned to CIMEST, which from the beginning of 2020 has sustained thousands of Italian enterprises through equity funding and subsidized loans. With regard to promotion of international business opportunities, CDP supports the internationalization operations of its participating companies also by producing indirect positive effects on those SMEs involved in the same supply chain. The business matching platform we are presenting today aims to strengthening and widening the existing tools for companies in order to promote their exports and internationalization and moreover to enhance the potential of the export oriented firms in contributing to post COVID-19 economic recovery. This tool will allow Indian and Italian companies to match, meet and build business relationships virtually the platform aiming at bringing together the economic communities of the two countries, especially SMEs, despite the current physical limitations. As highlighted by Ambassador De Luca, India and Italy are strong business partners, 
trading almost $10 billion of goods and services every year. And 2021 is considered the best year ever for commercial trade between the two countries. With 600 Italian companies already present in India, over 23,000 people employed, India is a consolidated partner for Italian exports. However, we believe there is still considerable untapped growth potential between our countries. For this reason, in partnership with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, with the active support of the whole Italian country system, we are strongly promoting the business matching platform. Let me underline that since its launch last November, we had encouraging results with about 600 Italian companies and 200 foreign firms registered on the platform. Today's webinar is made specifically to provide a comprehensive overview of how Italian and in, in, in Indian companies can grow and benefit from international trade. The potential of the platform will be presented by business success stories and market experts. I'm sure that thanks to this tool, also with the collaboration of relevant Indian players, such as the Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Confederation of Indian Industry, we will be able to contribute with concrete actions to the development and to the growth of our bilateral trade relations. Thank you all, and I look forward to see you soon. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Salzano, for introducing the audience uh, to this integrated system of tools that can support the companies of our two countries. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. And now let's dive into the first panel, Indo-Italian Business Relations and Supporting Tools. Although India and Italy are solid commercial partners, trading nearly $10 billion of goods and services, as the uh, ambassador and Mr. Salzano said, there is still room for growth if we consider that Italy is only the fifth trade partner for India in Europe. So, to talk about this, I would like to welcome all our guests. And let's begin by setting the context with Alessandro Liberatori, the director of the Trade Promotion Office of the Italian Embassy. Good afternoon, Mr. Liberatori. Good morning, good afternoon, Mr. Franciosi, and thanks for the invitation. Grazie per l'invito. Thank you for being here, and please, the floor is yours. Good morning, good afternoon, Ambassador Vincenzo De Luca, uh, Chairman of CIMEST Pasquale Salzano, all colleagues of the other Italian institution, uh, GDP, such as Chamber of Commerce, the so-called Italian system uh, in India. Namaste to the Confederation of Indian Industry and Mr. Umesh Chaudhry and all the Indian companies participating uh, today in the webinar and welcome to this new meeting aimed at promoting, facilitating and uh, strengthening the already excellent and prolific relations between Italy and India as the Ambassador De Luca and uh, President Salzano were already mentioning. Italy represents actually the third, fourth commercial partner of India in the EU after Germany, Belgium, and competing with France for the third position. Italian exports, in fact, uh, have been uh, characterized by, by a continuous growth trend of 22.2% from uh, 2016 to 2019, with a, a physiological decline, of course, in 2020 due to the pandemic, and uh, a sustained recovery in 2021 with a growth of more than 32% in the period January-October, with a value of 3.07 billion uh, of euro. And the total uh, trade exchange between the two countries, as been already mentioned, was over 8.6 billion euros. The main sectors of the commercial partnership between Italy and India are first machinery and equipment, about 36% of the total, chemical products, 14.5%, uh, metal products, about 10%, transport and vehicles, 5.6%, then rubber and plastic, pharmaceutical, textile, apparel, leather and accessories, 
food and beverage, furniture, and others. Well, the Italian Trade Agency, the Italian Trade Agency uh, also acting as the trade promotion section of the Embassy of Italy in India, is a, a government agency with a widespread network of uh, about 70 overseas offices around the world that supports the business development of Italian companies overseas, especially small and medium-sized companies. We have been established in India since 1969, in India where we have two offices. The head office is in New Delhi, it's my office, which also serves as the coordination office for the Italian Trade Agency Network in India, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, and the office we have in Mumbai. For 2022, a new uh, Italian trade agency desk in Bangalore at the new Consulate General of Italy is scheduled to be created additionally. So the Italian trade agency basically provides support to Italian and Indian companies in four key areas. First, information and first orientation services. Second, consulting and assistance to the planning of market penetration strategies in India. Uh, third, publication of reports, surveys, studies on the market and business opportunities. And fourth, identification of potential business and investment partners. In addition, actually, Italy, Italian trade agency organize uh, collective participation of uh, Italian companies or institutional pavilions as well at the main trade fairs in India, in different sectors, leather sector, stone sector, ceramics, uh, electricity, furniture, food processing, and plastic industry. It also promotes incoming missions of, Itali of Indian buyers to the most important trade fair in Italy organized trade mission of Italian companies to India and also collaborates with the Italian Embassy in the organization of annual integrated promotional events such as the World Week of Italian Cuisine and the Design Day. Starting from the current year, Italian trade agency will be also offering a new service through a dedicated desk aiming at supporting, assisting and informing Italian companies on intellectual property rights in India, counterfeiting and trade barriers. Furthermore, in New Delhi and Mumbai offices are operative two FDI units specialized precisely in the attraction of foreign investments in Italy. And in Mumbai, there is an innovation desk that promotes the development of innovative companies and Italian startups. It is also worth mentioning the nation branding campaign called Be It. Uh, recently launched in 26 focus countries where Italian export and presence are uh, more strategic and India is among them, aim at presenting and relaunching after the, the pandemic, the founding values of Made in Italy, such as passion, creativity, innovation, cultural heritage, diversity, style and sustainability. So a launching event of this campaign will be organized also in India, possibly in March 2022. Other important projects to be mentioned are those involving the entire supply chain in certain uh, key sectors, such as uh, the food processing sector, the leather sector, the textile sector, key sector of the collaboration between Italy and India. And the first one in the food processing sector has been inaugurated in 2021 with the Fanidar Mega Food Park in Gujarat. And the Italian trade agency has provided the training programs to local Indian companies and a technological support Consider the well-known leadership of Italian machineries. In a difficult moment like the, the one the whole world has been experiencing for two years now due to the pandemic and characterized by the difficulties of international mobility that uh, do not allow us to attend fairs or to meet all the new customers and suppliers, Physically, Italy uh, and Italian trade agency and all players of the Italian system in India have relentlessly organized virtual information and promotional events such as webinars and B2B meetings. On this note, it's worth mentioning that in, in 2021, the Italian trade agency organized 62 promotional initiatives in India and provided direct specialized assistance to more than 800 companies. This is why we are here today to present this GDP business batching platform, a new tool, an innovative tool that will allow to organize virtual B2B meetings between Indian and Italian companies. It will further facilitate business and bilateral collaboration. 
This tool is actually added to the other tools previously mentioned, and it will be complementary with the already existing digital business platform of the Italian trade agency. Well, I'm going to conclude. Should you have any need or request uh, of information or, or assistance, do not hesitate to contact us. Our email address is newdaily at ice.it. So thank you very much for your, for your attention. Grazie mille. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Liberatori. We will see you later for the Q&A session. And now let me hand it over to Mr. Umesh Chodari, past chairman, CII Eastern Region and CII National Committee on Railways. Good afternoon, Mr. Chodari. Good afternoon, Mr. Franciosi. Thank you very much. Uh, a very good afternoon, Excellency uh, De Luca. Uh, Mr. Salsano, uh, friends from India, and buongiorno to all the friends from uh, Italy. Uh, India and Italy are ancient trading partners and have been, there have been constant collaborations across sectors that have given further impetus to Indo-Italian trade. These have gained sharper focus in light of the revitalization of bilateral ties between the two nations over the last years due to increased trade delegations, government-led initiatives, and government-to-government -government, government dialogues over the last few years. Today, Italy is one of the largest trading partners, as we heard from uh, the speakers before, with a bilateral uh, trade of $8.6 billion in 2021. It is one of the largest, uh, Italy is one of the largest European economies. I think it's ranked eighth in terms of uh, the value of FDI into India. And the, the number, uh, the value of FDI into India is about 3.1 billion over the last 20 years. We still believe, while these numbers are impressive, they are much below the potential that exists for trade and investment between India and Italy. The disruptions caused due to the COVID pandemic in the last couple of years have led to a realignment in the global supply chain strategy and at CII, we feel there is a vast scope for both Indian and Italian businesses to build a much stronger partnership while also integrating the value chains between Europe, Italy and India in this new global context. India is now working towards building tailored partnerships and has taken up a multi-dimensional strategy to facilitate and encourage overseas business. The strategy focuses on twin planks of creating the right environment in India and creating opportunities through trade talk, talks with partner countries such as European Union and specifically with Italy. On the domestic side, India is actioning on Atma Nirbhar Bharat mission, which, is, uh, which means self-reliant India, uh, which is a policy measure adopted by the Pri Honorable Prime Minister and is placed on five key elements of intent inclusion, innovation, infrastructure, and investment. Ease of doing business is a key area of focus for the Indian government. On infrastructure, the recent national infrastructure pipeline and national monetization pipeline will have large investment opportunities into operational infrastructural assets. The Prime Minister recently launched the Gati Shakti, which uh, translates for speed and strength initiative in multimodal transport connectivity through a coordinated approach between different ministries. The government has taken several key initiatives to boost manufacturing and investment into India. Some of the path-breaking reforms are in the direction to cut corporate tax, decriminalization of many business-facing laws, Simplification of procedures, these are only a few uh, of the initiatives launched by the government. The government has also announced production linked incentive schemes for 13 sectors, which aim to make India an integral part of the global supply chain. And this further opens up opportunity for companies in Italy to not only trade, but also invest in India. Sectors such as manufacturing, renewable energy, railways, agriculture, food products, automotive, textile, information technology, and digitalization 
are some of the key drivers for sustainable trade and investment between the two countries. Our leaders have already spoken about promoting bilateral ta- trade and exchanges on five priority sectors that have been identified by the two prime ministers of the country, uh, which are infrastructure with a focus on railways, advanced manufacturing, energy transition, machine components, food processing, and creative industry. CII, through its vast network of global offices and centers of excellence, and its very large membership base, is a is ready to be a key partner to Italian companies to explore the Indian market and also interact very closely with its counterpart in Italy to support Indian companies to enhance trade with uh, their Italian counterpart. We believe that the new digital platform that CDP has launched is a great initiative and will act like a big booster for both Indian and Italian companies to identify local counterparts and be able to enhance the trade and investment between the two countries. We are very excited to be a part of this. Thank you very much. And I look forward to listening to the following speakers. Thank you very much, Mr. Chaudhary. As the Ambassador De Luca said, you are a great friend of, uh, of Italy and it's a pleasure to have you here. See you later. And now let's expand on this uh, topic and to get a business inside, I would like to hand it over to Claudio Maffioletti, CEO and Secretary General of the Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Hi Claudio. Hi, 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 Laurent. Um, buongiorno to everyone. Good afternoon. Namaste. Good afternoon, especially to Ambassador De Luca and Mr. Uh, Mr. Salzano and to all the distinguished speakers in this panel. Um, it's very promising, and uh, what uh, Mr. Franchos has pointed out in terms of attendance to this webinar and the number of Indian companies already registered in, on the platform is a sign of the interest and of the potential of this innovative tool. We have entered into an agreement to jointly uh, promote the platform with other Indian counterparts and Italian counterparts in India. In November and in a very short span of time, we were able to generate a substantial interest, which we plan with other activities throughout the year to further further increase. Uh, the platform is mainly, but not exclusively, intended to increase trade between Indian and uh, Italian companies. But if you if we look at the normal evolution of uh, economic economic integration between different countries, we see that trade is a starting point and then leads to an investment in the respective countries. And my slides, I have a couple of them prepared for this event, shows what is the actual um, state uh, of presence of Italian companies in India. So typically, especially as far as, as small and medium enterprises are concerned, there is the establishment of a commercial channel with uh, in one or more Indian counterparts, which then leads to the establishment of, of a trade company in, in India, which in some cases leads also to the establishment of manufacturing plant in, uh, in the country. So what is the presence of Italian companies in, in India? Mainly, uh, uh, we have, as it's been pointed out, uh, more than 600 companies present in India and scattered in different in the main uh, areas of the of the country north western indian south indian southeast india and uh, northeast with a uh, prevalence of investments in the uh, western region with mumbai and pune and in the northern region but with a significant amount of companies also in bangalore chennai and kolkata areas Total stock of investment by Italian companies in India is more than 2.5 billion euros since 1990 when the market was open to foreign investments. And we have counted that is an approximation um, of uh, the number of Italian brands present in the, in the Indian market with more than 2000 brands in different sectors. Next one, please. The uh, sectors mostly and mainly represented are the ones that have been mentioned already, mainly machinery and equipment with more than 100 companies, infrastructure and construction, automotive, but also furniture, energy, fashion, uh, 
administrative and business services, ICT and electronics, and so on and so forth. Divided uh, each one in the different, different areas. Next one, please. So the kind of investment undertaken by Italian companies in India mainly prefers the establishment of a 100% subsidiary. So an Indian company which is fully owned by the Italian, by the Italian uh, um, parent company. But there is also a significant amount of joint ventures and different kinds of establishments as well. Next, please. Oh, in terms of manufacturing plants, we have mapped and monitored uh, more than 250 Italian companies with a plant in India, which represent approximately 40% of the total presence of Italian companies in the country. Again, the most represented sectors are machinery and equipment with 34% of productive plants, automotive and auto components with 23%, infrastructure and construction, and then other sectors represent the rest. Next slide, please. A few uh, words about the Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce. We have our head office in, uh, in Mumbai, but we have a network of five offices in uh, Delhi, Calcutta, Chennai and Bangalore, which are the areas where, which were pointed out as the most attractive for the foreign investments in the, in the country. Next one, please. We have uh, mem uh, new offices in Mumbai were inaugurated recently in the uh, in the month of October 2021. Next one, we have a co-working space. We have uh, also an exhibition area and an event area. Next one, please. We were established in uh, 1966. Uh, five offices in India already mentioned, 30 professionals and a membership base of approximately 1,000 companies, which include both Italian companies exporting to India, Indian importers, distributors, retailers of Italian brands, but also Indo-Italian joint ventures and Indian subsidiaries of Italian companies. Next one, please. In our activities, we focus mainly on projects in different sectors. We promote Italian food and wine, obviously Italian manufacturing, the entire agro-industry value chain, smart cities, furniture and design, cosmetics, but also hydro education, dispute resolution that unfortunately is one um, very sensitive uh, item in, um, in Indo-Italian business relationship, relationships, uh, sustainability and corporate social responsibility. Next one, please. Our value proposition is structured on three verticals. One is the, uh, merely uh, de uh, dedicated to our associated companies, so representation, visibility, and access to our network. We provide a series of business services to help Indian and Italian company starting or increasing their business in their respective countries with market uh, intelligence, business scouting, assistance, as far as startup and operations for establishment or company corporation is concerned, a set of branding and promotional activities, both in a traditional manner, but also more, more often in a digital manner, translation of documents and manuals, but we also do uh, a significant amount of training program, ranging from Italian language program to vocational training and experience education and study tour for Italian, Indian uh, individuals and managers in, in Italy. I think this is the last slide. I'm obviously available for any query you might have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Claudio, and congratulations for your activity. Uh, by the way, we have already received some questions from our audience. So we will do our best to answer all of them at the end of this webinar. So please keep sending them. We are receiving really very interesting one, ones. And uh, now I would like to welcome Mr. Gautam Bansali, the head of the Sachi Mumbai office, who can talk to us about an important theme for Indian and Italian companies trading, which is export credit. Thank you so Mr. much, Bansali, sir. Thank you for being here. The floor is yours. Thank you so much and good afternoon to Ambassador, all the distinguished guests on this panel and my uh, fellow um, countrymen and my friends from Italy as well. 
it's a great opportunity to uh, have access to this platform which provides uh, business opportunities to explore what italy has to offer and also enable italian companies to understand what indian companies are doing here to offer their best products so it's absolutely a great opportunity which i would uh, strongly recommend all guests to take part in to evaluate to explore this and uh, reach out to us for any kind of assistance that may be required uh, sache as the official export credit agency of italy has been mandated by the government of italy to promote exports from italy to the rest of the world my office in mumbai looks after not only india but also the neighboring south asian countries which include bangladesh sri lanka nepal maldives etc we have an exposure of almost a billion euro out in india and we are looking at growing in this country and establishing more and more trade between both india and italy as part of our uh, mandate and to promote business between india and italy we provide financial tools which enable indian companies to avail of medium long term financing which could start from 3 years and go up all the way to 12 years of financing it would be in various kinds of currencies especially euro and us dollar and this these financial tools provide indian companies with spreading their cash flows out in uh, over their business as it grows they can keep repaying for the machines that they have bought and italian exporters have the opportunity to get the money up front all this is possible through the various uh, products that we offer i will not go into those products right now you could easily reach out to us through uh, my email address contact details etc which will be made available after this uh, conference and uh, we would be pleased to support any kind of query that may come up i strongly suggest that uh, you reach out to us to our teams uh, to sistema italia which includes the indo italian chamber of commerce the embassy the italian trade agency cdp sache all of us are always available to explore what is possible to promote trade between india and italy and sache is always available to provide innovative financing solutions to enable indian companies to procure the best in class equipment machinery goods from italy through our products thank you so much and uh, look forward to hearing from you mr mansali thank you very much for your intervention and it's great to see there are many ways for our companies to work with sache And now from Rome joining us is Francesca Alicata, senior expert in direct channels at Siemens, who will tell us about financial tools for Italian companies interested to trade or invest in India. Buongiorno Francesca, good morning. Bo uh, good morning uh, Mr. Franciosi and thank you very much uh, to give me the floor. Uh, good morning everyone and good evening uh, uh, to friends in India. Uh, I am uh, Francesca Licata and I work in the institutional and uh, uh, indirect channels uh, at Simest. Uh, Simest is part of CDP group, 76% controlled by Sace and 24% controlled by the Italian lending banks uh, and banking association. Together with Sache, we offer uh, the Italian company um, financial support and we uh, support the Italian company to develop their business abroad. Working with Simest means having the support to the Italian government and uh, we offer three types of uh, products, uh, soft loans, equity and export credit. Uh, firstly, we have soft loans. for SMEs um, and includes seven products. Uh, so we have loans to attend fair, um, um, uh, international fairs er, in, uh, and international uh, exhibition or capitalization of the sporting business, feasibility studies, program for entering uh, foreign markets, 
uh, we have a technical assistance program, uh, temporary export manager, and also e-commerce. Uh, for this seven product, we offer a very low interest rate, which is 10% of EU benchmark rates. Uh, the second product that we offer is uh, equity. Uh, we are uh, like a private equity and we do a joint venture with uh, an Italian company that need to have the majority share in the foreign company that we work in, uh, they work they are working with. Uh, the Italian company will uh, have uh, the possibility to use uh, also the venture capital fund uh, that have a very favorable terms. The, the way out uh, for this uh, joint venture is uh, about eight years and we offer a very low interest rate. Uh, the final product uh, uh, is uh, uh, export credit that include buyer credit and supply credit. With this line of product, we offer the possibility to the Italian company to, very, um, to, to be very competitive. So the Italian exporter uh, grants uh, um, the uh, foreign buyers an extension of more of 24 months uh, um, months for discount debit security at the market rate. So, as I say early, with the, those uh, uh, three products, we offer, uh, um, we can make a, a huge difference to an Italian company uh, that uh, want to be, uh, want to uh, develop uh, his business abroad. So, thank you very much for your attention and I remain at your disposal. Grazie, thank you Francesca for presenting the three main products uh, of uh, Siemens for the Italian companies. And thank you to all our guests of this panel. We will see each other later for the Q&A session. Thank you again. And now I would like uh, to move to the next slot of this webinar called Experience Sharing Success Stories. We ask companies from both countries to join us for this panel to present the point of view of those who are actually trading or investing between Italy and India. I'm sure we can learn from them. Joining us now are Secure Meters, CIB Unigas, BLM Group and Alpha Parf Group. Welcome to all of you and let's start from Secure Meters an Indian multinational solutions provider for power quality and energy efficiency. A family-owned and managed business, Secure Meters has offices worldwide, including Italy. We are joined by Mr. Suket Singhal, the group CEO. Welcome. Buongiorno, Signor Franciosi. Buongiorno, good morning and good afternoon for you. Mr. Singhal, what, what are the main opportunities that Securmeters has found working in Italy and working with Italian companies? Sure, um, I think it's difficult to provide an answer after you've had so many speakers give information, but I think I'd like to explore a different aspect of Indian and Italian commercial operations. Uh, Indian companies and Italian companies are actually very much alike. We have a very similar culture, our attitude towards engineering, technical problem solving and meeting customer requirements is pretty much the same. And I think that is the bit that we have enjoyed working on the most. Italian uh, customers of ours, they push us always to become better and better and better. And one of the things I love about working in Italy is um, uh, they, they make life really hard for you. They really push you. They keep giving you new and new input. But you and you know one thing, the day that they stop giving you that input. That's when you're in trouble. Italian companies, when they tell you what to do, when they keep asking you to improve, that's a really, really good place to be. And it raises everybody's bar and everybody's standard. I think there are a lot of opportunities that we have found in, in Italy. Uh, we do a lot of work on metering of electricity. We've been able to work with a lot of the companies in Italy. Uh, you know, the standards are common. The way of operation is common. Uh, the sy sy systems tend to be similar. And I think similarly on energy efficiency, especially for small and medium enterprises, 
uh, it's an area where Italian and Indian companies can collaborate and work together, uh, and that will help meet Italy's net zero goals as well as uh, India's net zero goals. So, you know, we're very happy. We've really enjoyed working in the Italian market for, for many, many years. In fact, recently we've even made an investment in Italy by putting up a factory there in Trentino, uh, working with Sfilupe Trentino. Uh, it's very, very centrally placed. We understand the value of made in Italy and the brand that it brings. So we really enjoyed working in Italy and we hope to carry on working for many more years. Mr. Singal, thank you. And, and do you have any thoughts on how Indian companies could attract more trade from Italian counterparts? What, what are the biggest challenges in your opinion? Um, I have very little experience in this, but I can try and give you some feedback based on what I've heard with other companies. I think SMEs from Italy have struggled to come to India. Uh, I can understand why that's the case because it is actually quite difficult to come in. You need a lot of confidence. You need a lot of integration to come into a market like this. Uh, but again, it comes back to Italian companies and Indian companies are very, very similar. Uh, a very good principle to principle approach. Uh, build that relationship. Have the Italian SMEs come over. Spend a lot of time with business businesses in India, not only for work, but also outside work. And then taking those businesses to Italy, letting a wider team meet and engage with the company to really understand what makes both companies work. I think that builds a very, very strong and deep relationship uh, because there are a number of sectors, you know, the material uh, machine, capital equipment sector, that's very well taken care of. But whether it's energy or uh, textiles or other goods, there are still a number of sectors which Italian companies, which are very strong in Italy and in Europe, haven't really explored uh, within India. And the opportunities with railway electrification, the opportunities with infrastructure in water and roadways. There are a number of SMEs that can and should come in, not only for equipment, but also for after sales servicing. I think one of the other things which Italians do really well is they have a very good after sales service setup. And that's something which is pretty disorganized in India. And if we can organize that and uh, start to work on building the technology to provide that platform, then it'll be a really good opportunity for Italian companies. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Singal, for, for focusing on, on this. And now I would like to ask some questions to our Italian guests. Today we have with us, as I said, CAB Unigas, BLM Group and Alpha Park Group, three Italian companies with an international presence, respectively active in the natural gas, tube processing and cosmetic industries. Let's begin with uh, Alberto Noventa, export area manager for CIB Unigas, an SME fully dedicated to producing high quality burners, which is already active in India. Good morning, Mr. Noventa, and thank you for your participation. Good morning and namaste. Good afternoon for everyone in India. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, Mr. Thank Noventa, you. what Sorry. was the biggest challenge you faced to, to you face to access Indian market and how did you overcome it? So the biggest challenge, first of all, I want to say thank you for uh, all partners of this uh, specific uh, event. Uh, I appreciate very much your invitation. So thank you again. The biggest challenge for us uh, to enter in Indian market has been a uh, change for our culture mainly. So we choose a different approach than the other countries uh, trying to adapt uh, our philosophy, mm, not uh, to penetrate uh, in the market, but to create the right condition to confirm our strongest partnership. We have uh, two important dealers uh, in different segments of the market and uh, in different application of our products. And uh, selecting the, those uh, partners, we create the right condition to have uh, the friendship, the partnership and the future for India, for us in India. Because uh, the challenge has been considered in a specific a critical moment as the pandemic event and uh, India was uh, a middle important market for us, but is becoming stronger right now because uh, even we decide to invest in a different way, uh, we especially decided to change our approach not formal only, not email only, but many video call, many uh, technical assistance, many sharing of information 
and uh, much more humility than before. Uh, the meaning is that uh, if we don't convert our mentality approaching Indian market in the way in which Indian people ask to be approached, we keep uh, the position of European in a foreigner market. Our volunteer is becoming a little bit much more Indian in Indian market. Otherwise, uh, we have no chance uh, to understand the real needs uh, and uh, we keep our position uh, too strong uh, and uh, too far away from the real uh, um, domestic we can consider needs. And the challenge is uh, to start from India to enter in uh, the real Indian area up to Sri Lanka, up to Malaysia, because many connections are already started from India to other countries. Considering that uh, if the philosophy is uh, to enter in the other culture, we need to do step by step. Don't be too hurry. Don't pretend too much in this moment because the difficulties are all around the world, but fix our target according with the Indian partners. Otherwise, if we pretend only, we have no chance to obtain the result. No way to push. And whenever we push too much, we receive not positive feedback. So the first action is step by step, um, not only because we are European, but because we are together. Everyone can teach something to the other. So if we absorb some more from India, I am sure because we have some percentage of our increased in revenue and turnover that has been confirmed not for the business only, but for the relationship too. If we transfer something, we receive something. If we want to teach, we receive nothing. This is the first challenge we have to approach in our in philosophy at the beginning. Thank you for, for stressing this cultural aspect in the approach to, to another market. And you, you mentioned something about the figures of your revenue. So how yeah. important is India for CIB Unigas today? So last year, so I mean, sorry, two years ago means 2020, the uh, revenue from India represent only 3% of the total uh, turnover for the group. In 2021, uh, we decided to change uh, the market strategy. So I approach in a different way, achieving the role uh, for this area. And uh, we, our turnover was a plus uh, 52% comparing to the years before. And now is a 6% in the total uh, invoiced uh, from Italy to abroad. We are, um, we are in a good position at the moment, uh, according with the export info about our segment, uh, because it's a niche market. Uh, we are not uh, in a huge market. We produce burners only, different capacities, different application, but very useful for India, uh, for Indian domestic market, and also for uh, export from India to abroad. We are working at the moment uh, with around 75 uh, of total market share uh, partners uh, of Indian manufacturers of boiler. So this is our target. And uh, most of our export is uh, re-export from India. We check that the relationship between India and the Bengal area especially, but also Middle East and some projects in Africa are very easy or much more easy for us uh, to approach with Indian partners than directly from Europe. Maybe some relationships are much more trustable. So India can grow up. We expect that in a maximum three years could become at least 10 to 15 percent of total revenue for the group. It's not impossible because we want to achieve that result confirmed through our partners. So it's not only our volunteer, but it's also the availability and disponibility for the partners to grow up again, creating a partnership much more structured for the future and especially improving the way to distribute our products uh, in different philosophy, much more concentrated on local needs, not necessarily pushing. Uh, we have the European standard for all application, but customizing also the products. So strategy and numbers are supporting us at the moment. Thank you very much, Mr. Noventa. And it's interesting really to, to hear your, your ambitious targets. And now I would move to BLM Group, represented here by Mr. Vinayaki Yoshi. Thank you, Mr. Yoshi, for accepting our invitation. 
well, we we have a technical problem with your audio connection. Oh, sorry, so, I forgot to switch on the mic. <laughs> sorry about that. That's uh, buongiorno. In this pandemic phase, we, we learn really a lot about this. So, Mr. Yoshi, the floor is yours. I would like to ask you, um, first of all, I would like to say that BLM Group is uh, dedicated to designing, manufacturing, and digitizing systems for processing tubes, wires, and sheet metal. I would say a high technology company which realizes solutions for a wide range of sectors from automotive to aerospace. So, Mr. Yoshi, what are the most attractive features of Indian market for your products? Uh, you see, we manufacture machines uh, for processing tubes for last uh, more than 60 years. Indian market is a growing market. It is not a very big market for our products at the moment, but uh, we are sure that uh, this market will offer a lot of opportunities. Uh, the simple reason is that now Indian entrepreneurs are uh, looking uh, towards global opportunities. Um, you see, b for a few years, uh, Indian um, technology was only in IT and it was less in manufacturing technology. But now slowly, Indian manufacturers have started looking into the um, investing in manufacturing sectors and looking at global opportunities, may it be automotive, may it be aerospace, and uh, these uh, Developments are giving us some uh, good opportunities uh, for our products. Uh, another aspect is uh, the rising manpower costs in India. Uh, uh, this uh, means uh, Indian um, industry would be looking for more and more automation. And this also um, fits in perfectly with our products because as the manpower uh, costs grow, uh, the automation is called for and we we are all our machines are totally automated uh, they can be integrated into a manufacturing cell they can be integrated to deliver a product uh, finished product starting from raw material so this is an aspect which uh, we feel will uh, uh, improve our opportunities in indian market the third is um, um, we invented laser tube cutting uh, process about 35 years ago and we have been continuously developing it uh, in all these years in terms of capabilities of machines and uh, uh, control software, programming software and uh, we see the software as part of the machine. We don't treat it as separate uh, entity. And parallelly, when these uh, things were happening, the role of uh, metallic tubes also changed. I mean, uh, uh, initially, a metallic tube is seen only as a fluid carrying element, but in these uh, years, it has uh, uh, also established itself as a structural element. So our laser tube cutting machines together with our CNC tube bending machines have helped uh, to develop a lot of new uh, products, uh, new manufacturing concepts. Um, and now our machines are used uh, to produce parts that are fluid carrying elements, for example, in automotive, motorcycle, HVAC, etc. And also in structural applications like uh, construction, facades, furniture items, general engineering, space frames, uh, for example, two-wheeler and four-wheeler uh, frames, chassis, etc. We have always tried to integrate the processes in such a way that the customer is able to produce parts with minimum handling. And this intermediate redu reduction of intermediate handling helps to in the reduction of costs and improvement of quality. And um, another thing what we have been doing is um, we have been uh, inputting our uh, integrating our expertise in the software. So it means that uh, a customer doesn't require highly uh, experienced uh, uh, operators and uh, it is very easy to train new operators because the software is very very easy to use and since all the expertise is in the software uh, it's easy for customers to use our machines uh, in a productive way and this means improvement of productivity and quality yeah i have another question for you on the other side what are the main challenges you faced in india oh <laughs> There are multiple challenges. There are multiple challenges. Uh, to start with, um, uh, 
investment costs as you know well indian uh, interest rates are very high so the capital investment is never easy uh, so indian companies uh, uh, do have to check very carefully what they are investing into so naturally customers are looking for better payment terms deferred payments lease purchase and all these things it is true that the government is pro proactively helping uh, indian inter industry to access funds easily but still it requires a lot of time and paperwork so uh, investment is uh, one of the challenges i think uh, the import duties is another uh, challenge uh, because it is uh, still 7.5% it's much lower compared to what it was once in upon a time i remember when uh, i was in india many years ago in 1986 we had imported a laser machine from usa and we had paid 85% duty now from 85% to 7.5% is low but uh, still there could be uh, some improvement could be done over there uh, obviously government has launched some schemes like epcg where by uh, this uh, there is some relief on import duties if the uh, manufacturer is exporting his products of course covid has also posed lot of uh, of questions but i think indian industry is recovering quite well from that and um, when we talk to our customers all of them are saying that they are busy they are they see um, future quite uh, positive uh, other challenge um, what i see is that um, uh, the cost of quality i think indian, indian industry is good in cutting costs but they were till now working in an environment where the average quality requirements were of medium level and now since they have look, started looking to uh, global market they have to factor in the cost of quality into it they have to um, because earlier they could hide the cost of rejections rework etc because uh, they were working in a different environment now Uh, if they want to approach the global market they will uh, uh, have to invest in uh, better machinery because then their productivity will improve and uh, their productivity improvement will obviously uh, cut the costs indirectly so thank you these are the I, these are the challenges i think that uh, we face and i think uh, with our technology and machines the our users currently uh, current users in india they are uh, very happy with uh, what we have offered and it is very interesting to see that uh, most of our customers are not big conglomerates in india there are small companies um, and uh, this is something to be noted that the second generation or coming into the indian industry in small companies they are all well educated uh, youngsters they have uh, degrees from western world so they understand the uh, how to approach the uh, uh, international markets how the quality is important and they are uh, i think they are the promise for indian industry in the coming future and we enjoy really working with uh, this new uh, new breed of uh, industrial uh, young ind industrialists and uh, it is probably also this this similarity you know uh, italian industry is all the backbone of italian industry is all small and medium industries which are family owned companies and a similar trend is seen also in india where these family owned companies the second generation um, management is uh, very effective very proactive and progressive i think uh, this is uh, 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 this promises good future Uh, I'm sure and you gave really a very comprehensive uh, vision and I think that our audience will will profit really of your uh, deep experience and now I would move to Mr Luca Nava changing of sector general manager global skin care division of Alpha Parf uh, Milano buongiorno Mr Nava good morning Buongiorno, buongiorno Mr. Franciosi, buongiorno everybody. Uh, good afternoon to, to all Indian attendants and uh, thank you very much uh, first of all uh, 
for the choice of our company for this opportunity to talk about uh, our objectives uh, in India. Um, I will and have thanks to for briefly, briefly, if you allow me, introduce your company. Afapart Group is a multinational group in the cosmetic sector with 100% uh, Italian uh, uh, capital in the global professional cosmetic industry. Uh, Alpha Park researches and uh, develops technologies, products, and services for all professionals in the hair care and skin care sectors worldwide, and now is interested in further expanding in India. I would ask you, what is your approach to enter in the Indian market, and what do you expect from Indian counterparts, both businesses and consumers? Yes, uh, the first thing to, that we have to, to tell is that uh, our, our state of the art in entry in India is quite different from other uh, companies we heard today because uh, we are uh, just at the beginning. We expect uh, a big market, uh, we expect uh, big opportunities in this market. Uh, our company is traditionally um, devoted to, to the export 80% of our turnover is uh, linked to, uh, to uh, international expansion and we are actually the first Italian beauty company in the professional market worldwide. So that's why we expect uh, a big opportunity in the Indian market because uh, we know that the Indian skincare market uh, is uh, very strong in terms of value with a big volume growth rate uh, every year uh, and uh, is one of the most profitable markets uh, after USA and China and uh, worldwide, we have a huge demand in young and uh, middle-aged um, uh, population. Uh, and uh, we know that um, there is a strong need for natural, high-quality skincare products. And also, we know that uh, made in Italy uh, skincare products uh, have a great appeal on Indian consumers, uh, especially when offering natural, free from, vegan, eco-friendly products. Um, we know the, the, the huge expansion of this market and we also uh, studied the, the, the characteristics of the Indian market in terms of uh, uh, omni-channel uh, characteristics where uh, brand, brands can uh, uh, be built in, in different channels. That's why uh, we decided uh, before also the pandemic period to open a subsidiary uh, a branch in, uh, in India and we just opened the, the Alpha Path Limited branch uh, to be established in this market since the beginning with a, a, um, a presence in this market. Uh, we expect also, of course, to have uh, to have um, difficulties, and uh, our road ahead, the Indian market, means uh, to to follow all the registration and duties uh, uh, activity for uh, for our product, which is uh, actually in uh, in in action. And uh, uh, first of all, and I also thanks uh, my colleagues uh, from other companies. The first thing uh, which is. Uh, to choose the right partner in, in, uh, in the country. And this is uh, exactly our, uh, our moment, uh, the moment we are, we are working on. So the, the good dealer partner, the, the working together with a well-established uh, activity uh, means for us today uh, to, to start well in this market. We have observed during uh, the meeting today that uh, the presence in beauty from Italy is not so huge. Uh, we have um, uh, not a, a big number of companies that offer uh, this, uh, this product and uh, that's why uh, we really need now and we expect to find the right partners to, to um, uh, develop this big and very, very uh, uh, promising market. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Nava. And really, very briefly, what do you expect from CDP business matching? How would you like it to support you in a nutshell? Uh, as, as I told, uh, the, 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 to find the right partners, uh, to have the visibility on the market and to, fi and to find opportunities. I think uh, this kind of uh, 
platforms and, and this kind of business matching today is is the new way of making business in uh, in uh, big big countries like uh, like India, and so that's why we expect uh, this kind of uh, support from uh, CDP business matching. Well, uh, I would really like to thank you all for participating. We really ran out of time, so I thank you again for your valuable and concrete contributions. Thank you very much. Bye. And thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And Securmeter, CIB Unigas, BLM Group and Alphapath Group will be on CDP Business Matching. So register to the platform, complete your profile if you would like to explore business opportunities with one of them or with many other companies. Business matching is one of many initiatives that CDP supports to achieve sustainable growth with a reduced carbon footprint. The platform allows for business relations to foster and scale surpassing the physical restriction we face today. And to understand better how the tool works, let me welcome Riccardo Norati Bianchi, CDP Business Matching Platform Coordinator. Hi, Riccardo, welcome. Hi, Loran. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Riccardo. everyone. The Thanks floor is yours. Thank you, Loran. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks to all the companies attending today's webinar and interested in the platform. I'm going to show you a brief presentation to describe the CDP business matching platform, the new digital tool connecting Indian and Italian companies. So let me share the presentation. And uh, then I will, uh, after a couple of slides, I will show you a video tutorial that will explain you how to access, register and profile on the platform and after that how to request and meet the foreign companies of your interest. Let me start from the reasons why we have planned and implemented the platform. Our main objective was to implement a free digital tool to strengthen trade relations between Italian and Indian and foreign companies, also considering the historical period distressed by the effect of the pandemic. In this context, we focus on new ways to grow and to support the company's international business relations, despite all kinds of limitations, physical and technical limitations, especially for small and medium enterprises in accessing international markets. This is why the platform was created, to cater the need for networking and increasing commercial relations among Italian and foreign companies with a digital tool that consists in an easy and safe place for, meet, for business meetings. The digital platform made by CDP, Casa Depositi e Prestiti, the main Italian financial institution, in collaboration with the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Connect your company with selected Italian partners according to your business goals and strategies. It is an innovative and multilingual tool that allows companies to meet shared business intention and have a commercial partnership. Next slide, please. The platform is being built on three main pillars. The first database fed by Italian, Indian and foreign companies interested in business matching. The second is the matchmaking system where the algorithm proposes B2B matches evaluating the affinity among registered companies. And then the virtual networking system that allows companies to use the platform to organize and attend B2B meetings or digital events business forum and webinar such as today. How the business matching system works? First step, the companies register on the platform, define their business intentions and submit their request to meet new Italian or Indian partners. Second step, the algorithm runs every day and matches companies based on their request and their profiles. If companies accept the match proposed by the system, they can easily schedule a B2B meeting on the platform. The third step, the two companies, India and Italian, can meet in a virtual room within the platform, and if they need, they can also be supported by an interpreter. Finally, the fourth step, 
in case of business agreements or in an uh, intention to have uh, further business relationships between the Indian and the Italian companies attending the B2B meeting in the virtual room, the system can provide through the network of partners information and supporting tools, including financial instruments. Next slide, please. Now, what are the benefits, the advantages for Indian companies and why should you register and use this tool? First of all, for the smart features of the system, always active every single day of the year, it's multilingual and with live interpreting service available if needed, and with the highest European levels of security and finally, because it is a free of charge system. Secondly, Indian companies can count on a pool of high quality Italian companies, being the platform a unique opportunity to benefit of a privileged gateway that allows to contact and, and to meet the Italian business excellence. On this topic, let me highlight that the Indian companies, re, sorry, the Italian companies registered in the, into the platform database come from CDP network, as well as from the other partners, such as SACE, the Italian Export Credit Agency, and CIMES, the Italian agency supporting the internationalization of SMEs. Consider also that we are supported by institu institutions such as the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Italian Trade Agency, and we benefit of our relationships with Italian local authorities, such as the regions, and territorial associations that collect local companies interested in international markets. On the other side, the database of foreign and Indian companies is fed thanks to synergies with the main local partners, such as Federation of Companies or Chamber of Commerce. Today, we are honored to have here with us CII, the Confederation of Indian Industry, and IICCI, the Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, among our partners in India. Finally, companies registering on the platform will also have access to a range of information on the Italian market, and we'll also be able to attend events such as webinars, business forum with Italian companies in the sector they are interested in. In conclusion, let me say you will become part of a unique business community. Next slide, please. Now, let me show you how to register and fill in the essential information in order to allow the algorithm to select the right button for you with the high level of affinity. Let me tell you more accurate and detailed will be the information will, you will provide during the registration process, more chance you will have to meet the right partner. Start the video, please. Enter the platform on page, select the I am a foreign company green button and register by entering your email, create a password, and receive the verification code by email. Then digit the code in the box and enter your name, a surname and phone number. After that, the, the system will ask you to insert company name, tax identification number and company address. Finally, accept the disclaimer to create your account and select your preferences regarding the data processing and privacy take in consideration that the platform follow European General Data Protection Regulation. So you can accept and at this point you will be registered to the platform, but be careful, it will be important to complete the profiling in order to access to the B2B meetings with foreign companies. So please select it complete your profile green button on your dashboard and enter the details. In the first section, who you are, you will, you will be asked to fill in the following information about your company, geographical data, nationality, where is based and which is the country uh, it is operative, your role in the company, owner, CEO, CFO, economic sector of your business, you can choose from a detailed list of sectors and subsectors, and then company size, 
in terms of numbers of employees and the turnover. You can indicate only in what range you are in. It is not necessary to indicate the exact figure. Business intention, if you are looking for sellers, distributors or, or partners. So the second section is focused on what you are looking for. Here, you can indicate your ideal business partner and you can describe your target company by indicating its characteristics such as size, factor, products, strength, or where it, it is operative. At this point, you have completed your profile and if you want to make yourself even more attractive for foreign companies, you can also insert a company description, brochure, logo, or payoff directly from your account page. Once you have registered and provided, you can also take part in events organized by CDP and this part, and you can read news or industry reports to keep update on the last business news from Italy. Finally, you can select a small green button on the bottom right of the home page if you need technical assistance or if you want to receive more information on the platform and its functions and tools. It is a easy, easy access directly from the platform. Well, once the profiling is complete, the CDP will check your profile and when verified, you will be able to access the matchmaking section. Thanks to the information about your company and the characteristic of the, comp the Italian companies that you would like to meet, the matchmaking system will select and propose you some companies that fit with you. The algorithm will also show you the percentage of your affinity with each selected company so that you can choose which one to contact. Once you have selected the company one or more, you can request to meet the company you are interested in. The system will put you in touch and if both companies agree to meet, the platform will provide you with a virtual room where you can hold the meeting. The platform can also provide you a set of supporting tools, including financial instruments, as I already said. So let's take a look at the video that explains all these. Please start the video. Well, and in the conclusion, let me tell you that uh, the full version of the videos you have just watched can be reviewed and downloaded from the platform website, as well as the presentation, the platform brochure, and other documents and information. Here, 
you can see and uh, you can find the direct link to access the platform and register for free in order to receive matching proposal with Italian companies in the coming weeks. For any further information, I'm at your disposal. So let's go, enter, register, and keep in, con in contact with the Italian business community. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Ricardo, and please stay with us while the other panelists join us for the Q&A sessions. Uh, I would like to remind all the speakers to answer their question really briefly so we can get through as many as possible. We receive really a lot of questions, and the first one is for Claudio Maffioletti, and the question is, Italy is well known for design and innovation and India is well known for manufacturing. It would be great to drive these initiatives as a part of the Indo-Italy Chamber in India. This also opens up a framework for cross-learning across sectors. What do you think, Claudio, about this question? No, it's, it's, a, very, it's a very good and interesting question and actually we are lucky to be Italians because we, besides all the iconic brands in the fashion, furniture, automotive, uh, uh, food industry that are known worldwide, we also have the opportunity to explain that all this uh, um, greatness is also depending on manufacturing capability, innovation, know-how. Um, well, India is known to maybe become a manufacturing country, as it, it's been pointed out, it's still a service country. But this element, this uh, recipe of lifestyle and manufacturing know-how is at the center of the promotion and the awareness that Italian institutions in India, embassy, Italian trade agency, the chamber do. As far as our chamber is concerned, we have organized last year a uh, uh, series of uh, um, technical session online followed by B2B meetings, especially focusing on manufacturing. Um, plastic working machinery, metal uh, machine tools, heavy machinery uh, technologies, and we are planning to launch the program in the same area, extending it actually to uh, leather working machinery, wood working machinery, metal working machinery, textile machinery, uh, for the year 20 and 22 and in that case your business magic the cdp's business matching platform can become a, a, an additional very very precious tool to increase collaborations between indian and italian companies but i believe and that has been pointed out also by mr vinayak joshi that the new um, generation of indian entrepreneur is much more sensitive to uh, the element of quality which is often attached to the element of price and uh, know-how. Our job as inst Italian institutions in India is precisely to increase that awareness and to let our Indian counterparts and partners to understand the benefits of investing in high quality and know-how coming from Italy. Thank you, Claudio. And the second question I see is for Mr. Chaudhary. Uh, I am an Indian company operating in the jewelry sector. And I would like to know more about initiatives that CII put in place to support the internationalization of Indian companies. Sure. Uh, so uh, as far as CII is concerned, being the apex chamber of uh, commerce and industry in the country, we have eight overseas offices uh, which are uh, very, very active. Uh, we have more than 300 MOUs with international chambers and associations. Uh, CII is uh, in the forefront of uh, participating in different trade fairs, in uh, being a part of uh, B2B as well as government to government dialogues, of being a part of the international uh, subcommittee of CII is leading delegations to different countries to uh, support uh, Indian industry and uh, connecting with the counterparts in uh, different parts of the world like in uh, Italy. So CII would be definitely uh, is playing and will continue to play a very important uh, uh, support partners role in the uh, in your uh, effort to internationalize your business. And of course, platforms such as the one that has been launched today, uh, CII uh, is always uh, very active to partner 
with uh, with uh, very reputable institutions like CDP for such uh, such efforts and endeavors. Thank you, Mr. Chaudhary. Uh, another question is for Mr. Liberatori. And what are the most common services that Indian companies and importers can expect from uh, ITA, the Italian Trade Agency? So, yes, thank you, Mr. Franciosi, for, for this question. Uh, because they, this question actually provides me um, an ample opportunity to explain to the audience what we actually do, not only for the Italian companies, as I, uh, I was mentioning in my presentation, but also for the for the Indian companies. In fact, usually our scope, of course, of work is uh, includes helping uh, Italian companies in devising the right market strategy to enter the Indian market, help them find the right parts and scouting local professional and helping the Italian companies understand the Indian framework and regulation. But our task is, uh, I mean, I would say just doesn't finish at that. Helping an Indian importer uh, interested in acquiring new products from Italy is an equal, an equally crucial operation for us. It's just, I would say, another side of the same coin, or rather, facilitating trade between our our two countries. So, first and foremost, we help Indian importers in updating themselves with what Italy has to offer, as also Mr. Maffioletti was mentioning. So, create awareness. So what Italy has to offer technologi technologically, culturally, gastronomically and aesthetically by organizing in particular incoming delegation. This is one tool. So this sponsored delegation give importers uh, an opportunity to travel to the most uh, important and famous uh, trade fair events organized not only in Italy but also around the world. Uh, which uh, events around the world which have a significant Italian participation, of course, in different sectors. At the same time, we periodically organize uh, Italian pavilions to some of the most important uh, exhibition and events in India, uh, in, uh, in many sectors. And on, on these occasions, uh, we also organize physical, when it's possible, or virtual business events, uh, webinars, along with B2B meetings. We also help Indian importer in searching specifically for, uh, for an Italian partner through our Find Your Italian Partner, which is a business directory in our website with virtual show, virtual windows of Italian, of, of Italian companies. And this offer a, a digital panorama, an overview of the in Italian business on the, on, the, on, the, on the show. So their profiles, products, images, website, etc. So in particular, they, the Indian companies can find some business proposal and contact details. Uh, we also use our digital business platform, as I was uh, mentioning in my presentation, called Smart365, 365, uh, which is intended to, to, to have a business matching and a business community operating uh, throughout the year for uh, 365 days per year, not only so, so not only limited to a single event, to a single specific uh, business matching. And last, we also help Indian companies to, to connect with their Italian counterparts from the sector of their interest as our reach in Italy through our network offices enables us to contact to connect them with the right person not only right companies but also some authorities organization and business association so we have uh, several tools we have a, a wide range of tools we throughout uh, through which we can help indian importers uh, to to find new products from italy thank you mr liberatori and in the meantime, we're receiving a lot also of messages from the audience. Uh, for example, uh, even some messages regarding the very first matches that we concluded to get today. Um, we have a company, an integrated service private company, uh, which is um, belonging to the supply chain of the derma skincare sector. And uh, they are asking for the contacts of Mr. Luca Nava uh, to, to conclude some deal. So this is the demonstration that the audience is very active. And next question, for example, is for Mr. Bansali. I am an Indian manufacturer of textile and I am interested in procuring machinery from Italian companies. 
which kind of financial tools Sache can provide for this scope? Thank you so much. I think uh, it's a great question for this platform because uh, the Indian company can definitely first uh, use the CDP platform to identify what quality uh, of machine or what company that they would like to collaborate with. Uh, they could reach out to us to understand more about the company. We have relationship managers in Italy which are in constant touch with uh, most of the Italian companies that are manufacturing and exporting across the world. So that is the first intervention that is possible. And in terms of financing and availing of uh, various facilities to procure this machinery, uh, we have uh, various products. I would just like to break it up into the tenors of the product. So if the machine value is say up to about a few million euros, we could provide uh, financing for a period of three to five years to procure this uh, machinery. It's called the supplier credit product. I will not go into the details, but uh, the, the company could reach out to us subsequently and we could get into details with them. So that's for machine values, which would be for say a several um, 100,000 euros going up all the way up to four or five million euros. Then if the machine value or multiple machines are being bought, which could be of uh, values which go from say 15 million to 20 million euros, we have uh, a product called bias credit which also enables them to get financing right up to seven, 10, and even 12 years to procure these kind of machines from Italy. And uh, finally, uh, what we also do is uh, as part of uh, the matchmaking uh, effort and uh, also to promote more of Italian companies to participate, if we identify your company as having a great potential for more and more Italian products, we would offer you a line of credit which would not be really linked to specific procurements from Italy but we would offer you with this financing and then through various matchmaking events through the CDP platform through each through uh, chamber of commerce we would introduce to you more and more Italian companies which are supplying a similar kind of product with the best in class technology and once you have identified those you can use our line of credit to procure those machines as well. So all these various products are available. Depending on your requirement, do reach out to us and we would be more than happy to provide the best solution to you. Thank you. Thank you, very clear, Mr. Bansali. Next question, I am an Italian company interested in incorporating an Indian branch and I would like to know how does CMS equity participation work? So this question is for Mrs. Alicata. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, so as I said before, we can do uh, a joint venture with uh, an Italian firm for project uh, in Europe or outside Europe. Uh, we are like uh, a private equity um, and we do a joint venture with an Italian company uh, that need, uh, I say early, that need to have the majority share in foreign company they are working with. Simest uh, can have uh, up 49% uh, of the capital of the foreign company. Uh, in any case, not exceed the participation of the promoter Italian company. Our way out is eight years and uh, um, we speak uh, about project up to 40 million uh, for project for, for single project or up to eight, uh, 80 million for economic um, for economic group. In addition, for project outside Europe, we can also give a contribution a, a contrib a contribution on banking loan that Italian firm ask for his uh, quote. So for any other question, uh, I am at your disposal uh, because it is a uh, very dif difficult uh, to uh, process to explain in um, in uh, so short time. So uh, if you want to more uh, uh, more um, details, you can con uh, you can call me. Thank you so much. Sure, uh, all the audience can write us at any moment to have further details. And now next question, we have heard about uh, such and Siemens financial instruments. 
Does CDP also have financial tools to support the international growth of companies? Well, to, to answer this question, I will uh, uh, introduce you Mr. Giulio Dalmagro, the Head of Development Financing and CDP. Uh, please, Giulio. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, well um, um, yes, we do provide uh, tools, financial tools in order to support the uh, capex capex investments of um, local and, and Italian companies um, is is uh, normally medium long term financing. What we what we provide uh, is connected to to climate related to circular economy to agri business transactions. Uh, I would say generally um, speaking, uh, we will support uh, transactions that do have an impact in terms of sustainable development. Of course, we uh, allow me to say that we would be more than happy to support um, partnership between Italian and Indian companies, um, like the ones we hope will spring from 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 this um, business matching platform. Um, we can provide um, the same time indirect support, uh, financing local um, intermediaries, local banks, local microcredit um, institutions, or investing in uh, in funds that will uh, will uh, invest in uh, in um, in companies in companies there. So we we have a quite a, a, a wide array of of um, potential. Uh, tools in order to financially support um, investments in India. Thank you, Giulio, for introducing us to these direct and indirect uh, uh, kind of tools that can support uh, Italian and, and Indian uh, companies from mid to large uh, corporates. And uh, if the audience has questions, uh, can write at, at any moment addressing the question to, to Giulio. Here we have a final question for Mr. Onorati Bianchi. I am an Indian company and I would like to know if the platform is already fully operational and if I can access to the B2B. Okay, um, yes, the, the platform was launched on last November. Now is in the database feeding phase, so companies can register and profile themselves. They can also request matches with the foreign and with the, so with the Italian companies. The algorithm will select the Italian companies and uh, within a few weeks uh, will indicate one or more proposal uh, in your dashboard. So the platform is uh, uh, operative. You can uh, access immediately and use it and ask for uh, the B2B that will schedule in the, in the coming weeks. Thank you. Great. Great. So the audience has to really to wait just a few days yeah. and the B2B functionality will be available. So thank you really all for your availability. Uh, unfortunately, we have run out of time. I would like to say uh, goodbye, everybody. I hope we can organize a live event for the next occasion, maybe in India. Thank you. Goodbye. Arrivederci to our panelists. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. And Thank you. although we still have some questions left, we will make sure we get back to you in the next days. We will post our answers on the website uh, of the event and notify you about the publishing so you can have a look at them as soon as they are online. Feel free to get in touch to discover more about the platform and how we can help you to reach your business objectives in terms of investing and trading between India and Italy. I would like to thank uh, uh, my colleagues, uh, Giarola, Gentile, Schiavone and Muccio for the organization and our colleagues of the Communication and Events Department for their precious collaboration. Before we finish, Last words from our ambassador in New Delhi. Welcome back, ambassador. Thank you, thank you, Lorna. I was so happy to attend all the events. It was, thank it was you. very interesting also. The question raised by the companies, the experience presented by Indian and Italian companies, and also the presentation of this really innovative, unique, I would say, mechanism. I don't think other countries have the same here in India, and we are proud and happy to have this opportunity.
actually I have to tell you that uh, um, in the COVID period we convert our embassy sort of a digital actor and this mechanism is perfect for our current and uh, um, daily business and daily activities with the Italian and Indian business here in India. It's an innovative mechanism, matchmaking for companies, but also um, providing opportunities, exploring opportunities, finding partners, and also having the full awareness of the existing financial mechanism that facilitate the investment and the exchange of technology between Italy and India. Of course, this is a digital mechanism, but we have also an offline mechanism that is uh, the network of our offices here in India, the Italian Embassy in Delhi, the Italian Consulate General in Mumbai, the Italian Consulate General in Kolkata, and very soon the opening of the new Consulate General of Italy in Bangalore. We have the Office of Italian Trade Agency in Delhi and Mumbai, the SACE, CMS, GDP, uh, at the important uh, Italian Indian Chamber of Commerce that is very active and is a driving force also for uh, um, supporting our companies here uh, uh, operating here in India. So I'm so happy to have these uh, final remarks saying that there's been also an opportunity today to have an idea of how the Italian, peculiar Italian business model works here in India. A model that is based, I repeat, on sustainability, corporate social responsibility, and innovation. This is the way our small and medium-sized enterprises, as well as our big companies, uh, operate here, here in India since uh, 50 years ago, even more. So I'm um, so um, confident that also this innovative digital mechanism uh, would further enhance the partnership, the interaction, and also the friendship. Uh, that is an important element because we share this uh, um, attitude to have very important personal relations also in uh, conducting uh, business uh, in India and in Italy. Now, finally, I want to introduce you for the uh, really final moment of this event, a video that is part of a global campaign to promote Made in Italy all over the world. I ask now the direction of this event to launch the video. Thank you. Thank you, Laura, again. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, you, Thank you, Ambassador. Allow me also to say goodbye to the audience. I hope that many companies appreciated the potentialities of the platform and will start, uh, start the registration process. And as you say, now we will see this uh, special video that I'm sure will impress the audience. Thank you once again, Ambassador, and goodbye, everybody. What is it? It is passion and style. Heritage and diversity. Creativity and innovation. It is about making exceptional things. Talent. Inspiration. Engineering. Design. We know how to make life worthwhile. Curiosity and dedication. Bravery and imagination. Expertise and precision. Vision? We've got it. But there's so much more to it. We think big while tackling the smallest details. We're imagining future paths while being inspired by our living past. We're builders, innovators, artists and scientists. But as you can see, there's still so much more to it. Everyday visionaries, original and refined, stubbornly authentic, with unmatched quality on our mind. We are all this, and you can be too. Every time you live it, wear it, feel it, taste it, you'll know it's true. It is our brand, cool and unique. Italy is simply extraordinary. Be it.